Hello engineering students. Welcome to our session. We hope you find this tutorial session interesting. Proteus Isis is a software simulator developed by Lab Center Electronics. It is a software used to run simulations of electrical and electronics circuits. The aim of carrying out electronic simulations is to check if a particular electronic design functions in the way it is intended to function. This checking can be done without actually building the electronic circuit on a breadboard or on a PCB. Hence a simulator helps you design more quickly circuits that function correctly. You can run Proteus Isis on a common PC or a laptop so you do not need to be in a lab using expensive equipment to design electronic circuits. You can design them from the comfort of your home. This is especially helpful for engineering students since it can be used instead of expensive electronic equipment. So, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Jason De Bono. I graduated from the University of Malta in Electrical Engineering in the year 2000. For eight years I worked as a test engineer ST microelectronics plant in Malta and then was promoted to a junior technical expert. For 15 months I also worked at ST microelectronics in Grenoble where I was responsible for the design of PCBs and simulation of BGA substrates. In January 2009 I started working as an assistant lecturer at the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering at MCAST Corden. So far I have delivered lectures in electronics, mathematics and further electrical principles. I am also a part-time master's student at the University of Malta and am currently finalizing a master's thesis concerning the simulation of electrical circuits using symbolic techniques. My name is Kenny Musket and I graduated from the University of Malta in electrical engineering in 2006. For three years I worked as a process engineer at ST Microelectronics Malta where I was responsible for ball attach, package saw, marking and scanning processes and the manufacturing of integrated circuits. To load Proteus Isis, click on the Start button in Windows. Go on our programs and select the entry concerning Proteus. From the list that pops up, select the entry that concerns ISIS. In my case, it is ISIS 7 Professional. Proteus ISIS should then load. This is the main window of Proteus ISIS. Once loaded, Proteus ISIS asks you if you want to view the demonstration circuits. We can use the mouse scroll button to zoom in, zoom out, and move the circuit around. To zoom in, rotate the scroll button upwards. To zoom out, rotate the scroll button downwards. To move the circuit around, click the scroll button and move the mouse in the direction you want to move. Once you are at the location you desire, click the scroll mouse again. As you can see, there are several buttons and we shall be using some of them. The first three buttons should be quite familiar. This button creates a new design. This button opens an already existing design. And this button saves the design we are currently working on. Then there are buttons used to create this, the circuit schematic. The first button to use is the component mood button. It's used to insert components into the circuit design. This button is the generator mode button and it's used to insert generators in the design. Generators include voltage sources and current sources. This button is the terminals mode button. It's used to insert terminals, the most important of which is the ground terminal. This is a useful button, the virtual instruments mode button and it's used to insert instruments in our design. An example of a useful instrument is the oscilloscope. Let's construct our first circuit. To insert components, click the component mode button. And to find the components from the libraries available, click on the button with P written on it. 
a new window appears. To find the component, type the name of the component in this field. First, I want to insert resistors. So I type in resistor, and I have only one avail one type available. I click on it and click OK. If I click the left mouse button, a resistor appears highlighted in purple. To place a resistor in the, somewhere on the workspace, go to the place where I want to place it and click the left mouse button. If I want to place another resistor, I click again the left mouse button, go to the place where I want to place it and click the left mouse button. Now I need to find a, a battery. So I click again the button with P written on it and in this field now I write battery. For battery I get more than Y choice. By looking at this symbol in here I can find out if the battery is if the battery selected is appropriate. This one is appropriate, this one is appropriate, but from this symbol I can see that this one is not and this one is not. So I have a choice of the first three batteries and I prefer to use the battery which is single cell. So I highlight it and click OK. Again to place it in the workplace in the workspace I need to click the left mouse button. If I want to change the orientation of a component I click the plus symbol on the keyboard and the component gets rotated. Let's rotate it another time and another time. Now I need to place it. Go to the to the location where I want to place it and click the left mouse button. To wire up the components together I need to place the mouse pointer on a terminal of the component that I want to wire up. A red, a small red box appears. Click the left mouse button again and a wire can be extended from the terminal. To bend the wire click the left mouse button at the place you want to bend the wire. Then to connect the wire to another terminal out to another component go to the terminal of the component and the red small box reappears. Click again the left mouse button and you get the wire. I'll use the same procedure to connect the remaining wires. So click on the terminal of R1 and click on the terminal of R2 that I want to connect and I have a second wire. To connect R2 to the battery I click to the remaining terminal of R2 and again on the, the final terminal of BAT1. If I want to move a section of the wire I can click the left mouse button and drag. As you can see the, this selected wire is highlighted in red. Now I can click and hold down the left mouse button and move the wire selected to the place I want to move it. Again I can even move wires and components as a whole. So I highlight the wire components that I want and I move them in this case to the left and they move as I needed them to move. If I want to change the values of any components I double click on the components see the the, um, the property that I want to change. In this case I'm going to change the voltage of the battery and type in the new value that I want and I click OK. If I want to change the value of the resistance of R1 I double click R1 and say I want to put it to 8K 